Hey guys, it's Jenny, and today I'm gonna do a Q and A. I wanted to do a fun, exciting Q and A, like Amelia Fart style, where I'm like out at a park or like in a grocery store, and it's weird and zany and it's fun to watch. But I didn't want to leave my house, so instead we're gonna eat chili. And Oh, that got real cold. Well, we're gonna eat cold chili and answer some questions. I got my laptop right here. I have to do it on my laptop because I'm filming on my phone. You know, you know. You're I asked y'all to send me some questions over on Instagram, which is at self soothing if you want to follow me. Izzy Pants, Eyes Pants, I think it's Izzy Pants, asked, do you have any advice for staying creative, productive, having healthy mindset while being unemployed long term? Well, in case you didn't know, I've been unemployed in May, it'll be a year. Um, just real hard to find a job that works for my Tourette's and just my general anxious lifestyle. Um, it's not that I couldn't get a job. I just have a hard time keeping normal jobs because they're just not sustainable for my disability. And I've also applied for disability. That's a whole other story. I'm not disabled enough. Mm, anyone that knows anything about the disability system knows it's corrupt. Anyway, that wasn't the question. Um, I would just... I don't know I guess just being patient with yourself I try to be patient with myself and I don't give myself bare minimum goals but I kind of do like it's hard when you have so much free time to do nothing uh, it's hard to know when to make that time constructive and when to relax you feel like you should always be doing something to try to make money and that's just not healthy or a sustainable mindset. So sometimes I will set one goal for myself, one goal. It'll just be like, get that person written back or fold my laundry. And then if I get that one thing done, that's great. And I feel good because I accomplished something. And if I get anything else done beyond that, that's even better. Cause now I've accomplished more than I even thought I would. You know, but even on your worst days, if you can get that one thing done, it makes you feel better, which for me at least, gives me the confidence to get more done. And not worrying that every hobby and everything you do isn't making you money, because that will make you just go crazy, honestly. Cervix, my friend, asked, asked, what have I been into lately? And what's in my bag? And favorite myths folklore? I don't really know any myths or folklore. I think Bigfoot's real. Probably. What have I been into lately? Um, I've been into watching uh, Instagram models on YouTube. Like they're, that they're so rich and they're just so, they're just kind of like boring. No, if, I'm sure they're lovely girls, but like they're kind of boring to watch, but I, I'm, it, I'm so fascinated by the way they live their life. I can't relate whatsoever, and it's so fascinating to me. What's in my purse? Well, ah, ah, big corner in my bag. It's this blue leather kind of crossbody bag I got at a thrift store. I got tissues, mints, peppermint chapstick, earbuds, because I'm not trying to get. Tinnitus, 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 almond butter because I'm always hungry. Beef jerky because I'm always hungry. A pad, glasses cloth, which I actually, I actually can use. Wireless headphones. Fidget toy. I want to make a whole video, I think, on fidget toys and like spin toys because I have a few of them and I really like them and they help me cope with anxiety and stuff. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe not. An ibuprofen. My wallet with no money in it. <laughs> Tea tree oil, toothpicks, more almond butter, Aftra, Pacifica, Island Vanilla, Perfume Rollerball. Glasses with hair kit, hair tie, case for my earbuds that have earbuds in them, velvet scrunchie, a bunch of condoms, and my house keys. I'm gonna put it all back. Uh, okay. Meg C underscore C R M 
said, asked favorite book or author. I really don't read much. I'm sure that's a huge shock for everyone who thinks I'm a huge intellectual. I really don't enjoy reading that much. Like, I like reading. I just don't like reading. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have a favorite author, to be honest. I really like reading cookbooks. That's probably my favorite kind of book because, like, recipes and food make me very excited. Lil Annie Jo. Hi, one of my other friends. What is your earliest memory? Um, don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't have one. <laughs> What's my favorite color? Um, I really like a good like baby blue. Annie Jo also asked, "What's my favorite thing about myself?" Probably my sense of humor. I, like my ability to like diffuse a tense situation with humor has been been very helpful in my life. Like neutralize the vibe in a room, you know. I think I'm pretty good at that. I'm very much an extrovert despite my high social anxiety. And so I really feed off being with people and making people laugh. And like, I, I really like that. I think that's my favorite thing about myself. Casey Snickerdoodles ask, talk about all things relationships. Just don't get in one. Just don't do it. Just kidding. I'm a Pisces and I think about romantic love every second, every moment, every minute of every single day of Termini per Terminator. Term <laughs> I was homeschooled, I don't know how to read, okay? Ask, do you want to move to another country? Um, anywhere with free healthcare, please. Please. <laughs> um, I feel like I've heard Sweden is real cute, real nice. As Canada, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I would never want to be very far from my family, so I don't know if I'd want to move to another country, but I can see myself, like, having, like, long, extended trips somewhere I think would be nice. They also asked, what's your favorite and least favorite sign taking Pisces out? Listen, uh, I can't just take Pisces out. True favorite sign is probably Taurus. Every Taurus I know is, like, pretty good people. I've always gotten along with Tauruses and like on a on a real a real heart level. Least favorite sign, Aquariuses. Aquarius men to be specific. Just absolute lunatics and I won't I won't put up with it. I just won't do it. They also asked, how do you cope with anxiety, for example, before important phone calls? Because I hate making phone calls. If I have to make a phone call, I have my mom do it. Cause like I just I don't I don't want to. Like, I'll be hyperventilating trying to make an important phone call. Try to think of what I'm gonna say. Like, I've even gotten a piece of paper and written out, like, what I wanna say just so I have something, so I don't just get on the phone and I'm like, <sighs> Holly Margie asks, what feels like home to you? Um, I feel like probably when I'm, like, with my cousins and I'm, like, making food with them and, like, we're all just hanging oh. out. I don't know if that answers the question very well, but yeah. The same term Terminator <laughs> asked, where would you like to work ideally? My ideal job is no job. I mean, not in like a lazy way, just in like working is exhausting and capitalism is exhausting and worrying about the money and everything is exhausting and worrying about if you're being productive enough all the time is exhausting but i would like to do something that is something creative and something where i can use my creativity low pressure i don't i don't really have like a good answer honestly because i don't know what i would want to do fun fact speaking of me not ever knowing what i want to do I actually got interviewed to be on an A&E show about people with Tourette's, finding careers for people with Tourette's. It was called Employable Me. They did it like in the UK and then they um, are gonna wanted to do it in the US. I went through several of the interview processes. I did the Skype call, I did all the things. And then they didn't pick me because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. <laughs> I, Cause so many of the people on the show, they're just like, I've wanted to be a fashion designer since I was four, and I've go to fat well, like, I've put in applications every day. I'm like, 
some people like they had so much direction and I just like didn't. Are there any languages you want to learn? Um, I just want to learn French because I think it sounds sexy. Self Soothe asked, how do you make your breakfast? The egg one with the toast and avocado. Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I eat this one breakfast all the time. I've kind of stopped eating that and I've gotten into eating something else. But for a long time I was eating, um, I toast an almond flour tortilla. And then I would put mashed avocado and salt and pepper on it. And then I'd put a fried egg on top and it's like, it's like flat and it looks like a flying saucer. It's real good. It's real good. I like it. Amanda Twitty, my other friend, can you tell these are all my friends asking me these questions? <laughs> Asked, do you believe in aliens? Um, yes, 100%. Why? I think anyone who doesn't believe in aliens is just wrong. Nika asks, what's your favorite ASMR channels? <gasps> oh my god. ALB in Whisperland, whom I love. Laura Lem Lemerics? Lemerics? I'll link the few I can think of off the top of my head down below. I really like her voice. Latte ASMR, I think is her name. Um, Rainbow ASMR, she's really good. I have so many, but I can only think of those few off the top of my head. I'll link them down below though, and if I can think of any more. I love ASMR so much. Possibali, Possibali, I think it's Possibali. Animal, uh, whales, favorite weather. Uh, sunny. Sunny and like just warm enough so I can like lay out in the sun and sunbathe like a lizard. Do you believe in reincarnation? Yeah, why not? What? Can I help you, sir? Come to Norway asked, favorite movie and director? Um, I think my favorite movie, not to be an annoying art girl, but I think my favorite movie is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind because I love to be sad. I don't have a favorite director. The only director I can think of is Wes Anderson. and I don't want to be that person. I really don't want to be that person. Oh, one of my favorite movies that isn't so sad is Sleeping With Other People. I love a good rom-com and that's such a good movie. Sleeping With Other People is so good. I like Princess Diaries. I'm not a big like crazy movie watcher. I watch, I like watching chill things. T Tree Bree asked, tell us how you lost your virginity. Long story short, I lost it to a guy who I was seeing at the time on New Year's Eve four years ago, and it was fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. A, it's your ma it's your mama. <laughs> asked, how long does it take you to edit your videos and what program to use? Well, as you can see, I have a gross um, Lenovo Lenovo ThinkPad laptop that can't be unplugged or it will die. Um, it doesn't do much, but it has Windows Movie Maker and that's what I use. And uh, it depends on the video, but I can honestly sit there for like five hours editing. It usually takes me a day or a day and a half to edit one video, give or take. The same person asked, what's my sexuality? I get asked that several times in my comments on YouTube, which is weird. People be like, so do you like girls? And I'm like, I'm, I'm just talking about makeup in this video, but okay. Uh, I identify as bisexual, but I don't subscribe to the idea that there's like two genders exclusively. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. Mary Marie. Marie Lind, sorry if I don't know how to say your name, asked, have I ever been in a serious relationship? Um, no. None of my relationships have ever been serious. They've all been huge jokes. Comfort Zone asked, what are your fave scents? Um, I really like vanilla. I like food cooking, if that makes sense. You know when you like come into someone's home and they've been like making something and you can smell it and it's so nice and comforting? Um, I like citrus smells, I like lavender of course, I like um, the smell of new pool toys, like that rubber smell, oh it's so good. Oh I love the smell of suntan lotion, really like summery smells, you know, I love summer smells. A List Lewis asks, what was your favorite album from last year? Um, I can't think of it right now, but I'm, hi baby. Can I help you, ma'am? 
but I'm gonna look on my Spotify when I'm done filming this and I'll insert it right here once I figure it out. Ooh, your paws are cold. A list Geo Cities asked, what is your favorite meme? You know what I really like that I think was underappreciated was the moth meme. <laughs> when it was like, it'd be like, like a moth in a drive-thru. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, can I get a one large lamp? I love that. Cycle Slut asks dream date situation. Anything where I don't have to like think too hard. Like I think it's so nice when someone has the forethought to know what you like and what you would like to be doing. You don't have to be like, where do you want to go? I don't know where do you want to go? Where do you want to eat? I don't know what do you want to eat? Like just just pick something calm. Like probably my dream date, uh, it's really corny, but I think like a picnic is like super cute. Like if someone had so much forethought to like, 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 like in movies, you know, when someone like sets out a blanket and stuff and then like, they like bring you and it's like set up and it's beautiful. And if they've like, if, if and like, <laughs> and like if they like pick foods that like they know I like and that I can eat and like nice little drinks and like flowers, thoughtfulness, like thinking of what that person would specifically like and like would be really meaningful for them, I think would be like my dream date, which sounds like so much, <laughs> or maybe it's not. Maybe I just have my bar set so low. Izzy Pants asked advice on how to tell new people about having Tourette's syndrome. Um, that's a good question. I'm just really upfront about it mostly at this point. Like sometimes even I'll try to tell people before they even notice or before I even tick, I'll just be like, oh, by the way, I have Tourette's. So you'll probably hear me ticking or saying things or making sounds. And that's just, that's just what that is. Like I don't think it has to be like a big thing. Like I just will blurt it out. It's in like my Instagram bio, so it's not like I'm like hiding it and I talk about it, but like if I'm on something like Tinder, I don't tell people because I have put it in my bio before and you just get so many people saying so many stupid things and it's just the worst. I just figure if I go out with someone, I try to tell them either before I meet them or like the first time I meet them, I'm like, hey, by the way, this is my deal and like if they don't want to like continue seeing me solely because of that, I'm like, okay whatever i don't didn't want to be with you anyway and the last question is from cyan blue love um and they asked what tattoos do you have and what do they mean i think how many do i have one two three i think i have 12. an eye on my finger uh. it means absolutely nothing um I saw Miley Cyrus had one of these when I was 17 and I was like, I want one of those, so I got one. I have some dots on my middle finger and those matched with a friend who I'm not friends with anymore. <laughs> a white cabbage butterfly on my chest that I got a couple summers ago. Um, they were an animal that I was very, very depressed when I first moved where I am now. A couple years ago I was in a bad living situation and I would go and sit outside a lot um, and there were so many white cabbage butterflies around and they just like then they would just make me cry and I just thought they were so beautiful and they were such a, a calming sweet omen I had this ugly true love there we go I got this little cherub this on my arm it's like a pull yourself out of it kind of thing because I got some little little love birds a hand that I did myself um by the way I did this one this one all the ones on and the ones on my fingers and legs myself it's kind of ugly and I might like to get it covered up someday <laughs> I have my body is home um, this too shall pass and I have a pansy that I never finished because I didn't know how to shade it in and I have an 18 on my thigh <laughs> So that's all the questions. Thank you so much for everyone who commented and asked me things. I really appreciate it. I just kind of want to do something chill. I've been having some health issues recently and I just wasn't up to 
trying to make some big production of a video and I just wanted to like hang out with you guys. And hope y'all had a good time and I hope y'all learned something new about me. For people that hate people talking while they're chewing, I am so sorry. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.